All right, so I'm pretty fired up. Sorry about last time, no audio. This time I actually checked it and tested it to make sure it was gonna work. So I wanna bring back our devlog. So this is number six, give or take. I was overcomplicating everything and it was kind of crazy. So one thing that I was trying to do, uh, let me switch the scene up. One thing I was trying to do in my game, um, basically when a new car, when you, right now I'm just trying to test creating cards on screen. So I have a draw card button. This won't exist in the game. There's a few things I need to create. Concept of a deck, because I want people to be able to take the Arkham Age concepts, but then make their own decks and open packs or whatever. I want to be able to extend it. I love this game. It's so fun. Well, it's fun. And I um, really enjoyed it during the time. But like for now, it's let's get the basics down and create a card. So I was hitting draw card. And you can see now it's working. There's some fields I need to fill out in my descriptions. But, you know, it's creating new cards with new names. Actually, I'm curious. Okay. So it's doing that. Um, but man, the process of getting here was wild. So I'm going to close the game. So one thing I was trying to do, um, again, not super familiar with the concepts here. So within Unity or Godot, excuse me, sorry to all the Godot people out there. I think Godot, I was using on button press, trying to call into the card scene to um, create the card there and then pass it back to the game board scene. And so what I was doing and how I was trying to approach that was just by like coming in here and trying to wire up all these signals and getting all crazy with it. Um, then the issue is I also had like a signal mapped to a card scene that was under game board because I had a card there as review. Uh, and it just felt wrong, it just felt wrong. And so after three, maybe four days of trying, which I'm only doing this two hours a day or so, I was just banging my head against the wall. It was getting really frustrating. And then I realized it dawned on me that maybe I'm just doing something kind of silly because I'm instantiating a new card every time. And if you're doing that every time, why not just create the card in the scene? Done. So I was overthinking it a lot. Um, so what I ended up doing is going through and pulling out just all of the signals. I was in nodes, I was mapping them all up, um, pulled out all the signals and then got it back on track. So then, I. I'm going to say refactored, but that sounds very fancy. Recreated my code and just on ready, create a card, map the fields, done. Easy. So I have to create the concept of playing cards because this now works, right? I'm still emitting the signal that probably can go, but I think this could be useful elsewhere too. Um, but yeah, I need to come in here and clean this up. So there's a lot of things that I need to do from that perspective. Like the dragging, I kind of got rid of that concept for now. I think the way I want to do it is a much simpler, click the card, plays the card. Um, I don't know how I want to handle discarding though, so that should be interesting. Sorry, but a couple things I want to do. But now it works, and so what I need to start doing is um, adding some collision, so that way the cards, instead of, let me just pull it up. Right now, the cards are just being played in the play area. That obviously doesn't make sense. Uh, they need to be played across your hand on the bottom here. And those need to have either dedicated spots or maybe some overlap. I have to figure out how to fan those out like that. I think that'd be cool. What's the interaction to blow the card up so you can read it? Especially because right now, yes, we have recruits, wealth, and bricks. I can imagine a world where I change that up um, and add or remove resources. Maybe you can tell your decks which to use. I think three is probably a good one. I need to start being able to click cards and at least have them do their effect. That's going to be a process for sure. But I think the next pass might be an overhaul. I kind of want to figure out how I want to handle art. I want to clean up my code base because it's definitely gotten wicked overcomplicated. Yeah, and so that's kind of it. Um, it's been awesome, an awesome experience. Banging my head into it. Some things I found useful. Let me actually grab them here. So I know I've my one of my primary goals here was to leverage like chat GPT and generative like AI and things similar, this has been a bit of a bear because I don't have like the fundamental skill set locked down. Every issue I run into is just a, is a huge problem. Um, but one thing that has been kind of cool, I've just been messing around with GitHub Copilot a little bit. I can't really point to why that helped, um, but there has this function of start code chat. But one of the like results it gave me kind of triggered that thought in my head that maybe I'm just making this really, really complicated. So Copilot is obviously really good. Same problem though, you need to like know the basics. And from there you can kind of get rolling. So what do I want to do next? Like I mentioned, re like go through my code again, get rid of stuff that doesn't matter, break it down to the barest, like the barest essentials, look at my overarching like hierarchy and see what I can do there. Um, I want to get some art done, like an art overhaul. I think that'd be fun. And then I'd like to start making it so when you click a card, it does the action. 
maybe have a tween from, um, I think that's the right word, maybe have it move from like your hand up to the play area, resolve, delete itself, right? Maybe throw it in the discard pile. Some work to do. It's um, exciting, it's coming along. But yeah, that's that's my devlog. It's been a really frustrating couple of days, but now that I'm over that hurdle, I feel I feel pretty good about it. So I'd love to know, uh, hear your feedback, any thoughts you have. Hopefully you can hear the audio this time, and I'll talk to you soon.